So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to a very small Shein haul. Yes, tiny bit, let me get a thumbnail. Okay, so let's just jump straight into the video. So I'm going to sit off center a little bit so any try on clip etc 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 will be put here I'm also going to put this box on the floor because it's just annoying me being here okay so first up since you can already actually see them I'm going to talk about the homeware stuff that I got so I picked up a few cushion covers so this is the first one um I just kind of got to replace all my other ones I feel like they were just a bit um, young. I got them when I was 18 so they're quite a few years old now. Um, not that I'm old but you know, we're a little older. Um, so yeah, this is the first one. I already had a pillow this shape. Um, I just kind of got this to replace what I already had. I will put up a photo of what I had before and then what I have after. So this is the first one. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for anything but um, that was fairly inexpensive. Anyway, next up, this one's not on my bed because I don't think it goes with it very well. I think it's really nice, but I, it, do you see the problem? Like with the pink, that doesn't really go. If I remove the pink, It doesn't go basically. Basically, it doesn't go. Hang on, let me fix this light now. Right, I'll fix this in a minute. But, um, so yeah, so it's this brown, fluffy one. It's lovely and soft. And these are, I should say, are just cushion covers. I did buy one of these cushions, but I'll tell you that when I do it. So it's just a cushion cover. I'm pretty sure this is the only cushion cover in this size, so I just kind of bought it. But, um, I don't think it really goes. I was originally just going to get two of the brown ones, but actually. I just don't think this goes really at all. So, right, there's a lot to get through. Stop talking. Next up, so these are cushion covers, um, but I bought this cushion as well on inside. So this is the one I had already, but I wanted two of the bigger ones. So I actually bought two colors because I wasn't sure if this would be too white, but I think I am gonna change and just have the white because I think the white goes a bit better. I think having, it's just too many different shades, but it's fine. So this is like the creamy beige color. They're so soft and it's got these really cute bobble details around them. I just thought I'm a very plain with a bit of detail kind of person. So I quite like that. And then here's of course the kind of cream white color. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go with the cream ones. So, next up, we have a big puffer jacket. I have wanted this jacket for the longest time. The only thing I will say about this jacket is that the sleeves are a little bit too short for me. I like my sleeves in really long and kind of, well, as you can see, kind of like this. But that's just a little too short for me. So I'm going to reorder the bigger size. I got that in a size 8 because I read the kind of what people were saying about them and they said stick true to size but I think I'm going to get a size bigger just to see if I can add any length on the arm. But apart from that, it's really good quality. Like it's honestly exactly what I was looking for so I can't wait to wrap up in this in the winter because I have honestly been wanting one of those big puffer jackets for the longest time but if you've been wanting one as well you'll know how expensive they can be that was 32 pounds next up also again packaging is just beautiful so this blazer I thought was really funky this is it it's like a marble tie-dye kind of style I just thought it was really funky. Um, 
bearing in mind I ordered this a long time ago so um yeah can't really wear it now can I but anyway um I just thought it was really cool a little bit different and you can get away with wearing different colors underneath it because it has so many well no, not so many but I just thought it was really different and unique and I thought it was quite cool it feels really good quality as well like very good quality um yeah I think that's just insane I'm actually quite impressed with this so next up if you saw last week's video you saw me talking about jumpsuits well here's another jumpsuit but it's not loungewear no sir it is a full leather boiler suit style jumpsuit and I just thought that's really cool I just love jumpsuits like that's your whole outfit as I said before that's your whole outfit what's not to love I really like the boiler style um, jumpsuits as well I just feel like they're so a versatile I love a versatile piece but I really like that. I also think I was inspired. Um, Molly May found like a leather jumpsuit on from Primark, I think, on her Primark haul, and I was like, I need to get me one of those. So I got me one of those. So I think we're gonna have fun styling that up anyway. Stepping away from. Actually, I'm gonna quickly speak about the two things that I don't have because they're downstairs. So um, first thing I got was a swimsuit. I've worn this for ages. Um, basically my friend has a hot tub so um, I got that for when I can go over when it's loud um, and I can go to her hot tub and I have something to wear so that's why I bought that um, really good quality and um, true to size I got size small in it fits me perfectly um, and just, you can wear it different ways as well so highly recommend that and secondly this necklace I wore this yesterday as well um, so here's this necklace here. Um, it's a really sweet butterfly necklace. Um, I love it. Definitely would recommend it if you're wanting a butterfly necklace. Um, but it's literally just not here. So moving on, um, I picked up two phone cases. So the first one is. So the first one is this. I thought it was quite cute with the sunflowers. The only thing that's a bit annoying is the text is kind of cut off. Um, I think it's better if you've got a bigger phone for that. But And then this one. These were so inexpensive and I just thought they're really cute. So if you do follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you will see them because I take a lot of mirror selfies. So I'm sure these will pop up next up. So when I was ordering this stuff, right, I was just feeling a bit kind of... I wanted to get dressed up for no reason. I just want to get dressed up and feel good about myself. And I saw this and thought, I just want to try it out. Like, I'm really curious. I will say, they had this in a lovely blue colour, but they didn't have my size when I ordered it. And I thought, I'll just get the black one. So here it is. I mean, let's just look how pretty that is. Like, am I going anywhere? Am I wearing this anywhere? No, absolutely not. But am I going to get dressed up, take some nice photos to make myself feel better? Yes, so here it is. I'll put it over here actually. But it's just this lovely ruche detailing. So it's like a mesh detailing on the outside, but it's a really soft mesh, so I can handle it. Um, I should say sizes will be down below in the description as always, and I'm five foot three for height reference. But this is the dress. Um, yeah, I just I really just wanted to see what it was like. And I was kind of like, well, I'm putting in a massive order anyway. I may as well get this as well. And that's exactly what I did. So, so, yeah. Right, this is just... This was supposed to be... Amazing. I don't know people are lying. This is so soft, my... Right, okay. I'm quite disappointed with this if you can't tell. So this is like a loungewear piece. I swear the comments were saying how soft and lovely this was. This feels like a towel that's been rocked that's been this feels like a towel that's been washed multiple times, if you get me. So here's the top I thought this is gonna be such a cute right, I know I shouldn't be saying this right now, but such a cute Christmas day outfit. 
I don't, I've never been this person. I've never been like, oh, I need a cute Christmas outfit for Christmas Day. But do you know how many times I've been stung by my family members taking photos of us unwrapping our presents, mainly when I was younger. And I just look like I've been dragged through a bush backwards. Not this year, people. Well, maybe this year if I got away this. But um, I just thought it was going to be really cute. As you can see, it's got like a, almost like a cardigan kind of style top. And then some wide leg white trousers and um, but it's just not as soft as i thought so i'm a bit disappointed with that but it's fine the idea was there but th that is also why i make these videos so that if you're thinking of getting something you can see this and think okay maybe i won't get that because it's not soft or maybe i will get that because it's good quality next up a uh, non-refundable this by the way my swimsuit is refundable, but this bodysuit is not. So this is, I thought, it was very autumnal for November, but it's okay. Um, almost like a cowl neck, square neck, I don't know why I'm seeing square, but bodysuit, um, it's literally just plain, plain bodysuit. Um, it's brown, it's ribbed, it's a lovely soft ribbed material. I just thought this would be so nice under that blazer that I showed you first. Um, under any blazer to be fair um, I just thought it was perfect for autumn also you can wear it in the house as well because that's what we need right now we need things that we can wear in the house but yeah you're probably going to see this in my next video no you're not you'll probably see this in a video um, because I just thought it was so nice like chocolate colour is really in right now for like autumn so Oh, this is just, speaking of blazers, this will go really nicely with the chocolate blazer. This is a leather blazer. Yes, 10 out of 10. But it also has a belt. So, I got the belted one because I was like, well, I can wear this belted with like a turtleneck. Sort of make it really bougie. Um, but I can also take the belt out and have it sort of baggy like a blazer. So I thought, two ways to wear this kind of blazer jacket. Um, hopefully if everything goes to plan I'm going to Dublin in January and I thought this would be really nice for Dublin for like meals and drinks out so hopefully we can style this up I'm pretty sure it's on sale pretty inexpensive and um, but they've got loads of different ones as well okay next up people okay okay I wanted to try out Shein's activewear because I didn't try that out last time okay this activewear right Ooh. so stretchy it feels good feels good material I was going to get a different colour but they sold out before I bought them so I got this light grey I mainly got this because I've been doing a lot of walking lately like not like not like intense walking but just going on walks with the dogs with my friends um, it's something to do it's inexpensive and it's outdoors so yeah, I just got these, but they seem really nice, so I'll probably be getting a few things from Shein Activewear. Like, they feel like Gymshark quality. I don't want to say from Gymshark, but I'm pretty sure I felt the quality <laughs> and it feels the same. So, yes to that. I'm just going to move on. So, I got a sweater vest. This was only one size though, also I swear it was longer. But yeah, and I swear it was more brown. But I'm gonna put this full up on I? and it's gonna be the exact same, but I thought I would try my hand at a sweater vest. Um I thought I'd start with one. Just one. Um because for a while I was kinda like, well how am I wearing this? Like if I can only wear them with like shirts then I don't wanna wear them, but I could even wear it. I could wear this under it. Wow. Right, so we're gonna have some fun with that. So there might be more than one styling clip for this because oh yeah, I did I, I'm gonna try to do more styling clips in this. Oh we're almost at the end, so I'm sure you've gathered that by now. Um but this is really soft. But as I say, you only get one size, so you can kind of see how it fits in me and gauge. From there, I'm normally an eight to ten, so you can gauge from there what what you think size wise, but that's a challenge accepted for me. Okay, next up we have a a jacket. Probably should have 
put this with the coat at the start, but it's fine. Um, so I bought a black denim cropped jacket. I don't have one of these, I don't own one of these, therefore it's acceptable for me to buy it. Um, I just, do you know who influenced this actually? Jamie Genevieve, she put a photo up um, and a vlog up where she was wearing a denim skirt and a black crop denim jacket and I was like, I need a denim jacket and I need it black and I need it cropped and I got this. Um, so many times I wore an outfit and thought, see if I had a black denim jacket right now. Now I've got one, do you think I can remember what I wanted to wear it with? No. No idea. Also, I probably shouldn't have got a cropped one. But I feel like you totally need a cropped and a non-cropped. You can't have like, one or the other. You know what I mean? You've got to have both, because sometimes you want a cropped look, sometimes you want a non-cropped look, and it's just a nightmare. But this one's cropped. I also liked how it was more of a distressed look. Um. So we'll see how we get on with that. See if I can find something to wear with it. The final item is this little blouse top from Shein. Um, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Okay, sorry my um, thing was flashing because I've been filming for that long, Jesus. Um, so this little top, can you see this right now? Not really. Um, I don't know if this is a me top or not but I thought it was a bit fancier, so I thought I'd order it. Honestly, my logic is just... But I thought it was sweet. Um, I'd, hopefully it fits me. They had different colours as well, but everyone said it was very nice to fit. It zips up on the side, I see. Yeah, so it's got a zip on the side, right there. And the sleeves are see-through, and... I don't know, I just thought it was quite nice. Got nothing to wear it to, but... It's a nice, nice top. It's a nice top, you know. So, um, so that is everything I got from Shein. Um, I tried to make it as quick as possible because I, I got a lot of stuff. Um, my biggest recommendation is if you see something you like and it's not perfect, click on it, and they will give you recommendations down below of something similar, and you'll hopefully find what you like there. But um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.